Hello everyone and welcome to another video. A lot of people have been talking recently about the new Chesla Combat Mittens. I've also played a couple times and Hikaru has played it as well. Now as far as I know he has not beaten it yet so I was curious to see if maybe his bot could beat it. So let's have a look. I made him play two games. So one game in which Hikaru was white and in another game Mittens was white. So let's have a look. In this game where Hikaru had white he opened the game up with the move 1c4 and Mittens responded with the move c6. So, you so with the move c6, Black is intending to play a slot defense. In case white goes d4, Black puts his pawn here. But Hikaru played the move e4. Now, this is one of the lines that white has in case Black plays c6. Because this goes more into a pan off attack for white against uh, the Karakan. So Hikaru takes on d5, Black recaptures, he takes again. And here, black sh generally should not take with the queen because white gets quick development with knight c3 and d4. So Mittens plays the move knight f6, intending to recapture on d5 with the knight. Karl goes knight c3, takes knight f3, and black goes knight to c6. And here, Hikaru plays the move d4. Now here, the main move is the move bishop g4, pinning the knight. White has the move queen b3. And all of this gets pretty forcing and also pretty dry. Like black plays e6, white takes here. Knight d4, and the main line goes with bishop e5 takes, and I believe check here, now takes, and after queen e7, we get this endgame, which is pretty dry, but Mittens plays the other move, she goes bishop f5, bringing out the bishop to this square, but now Hikaru goes bishop e5, and the drawback of putting the bishop on f5 compared to g4, is that Hikaru could follow it up with a quick knight e5 and put a lot of pressure on this knight. So Mittens plays e6, queen a4 for Hikaru, and again, thing, things look a bit problematic, right? Because knight five is also coming, but Mittens does not care. She just goes bishop e7, which looks really bad because Hikaru takes. And apart from white winning upon black, is also forced to move the king. Because queen e7 is not a move because you lose your rook in a corner. But actually, it's not, not that bad at all. Because black is starting to go knight b4, hit the queen, and go knight c2 and go after the rook. So again, even though it looks like white's up a pawn, Black's lost the right of castle. Things are not that bad. Hikaru castled here. But now came knight b4. A very important move by Mittens hitting the queen. Hikaru went here. And honestly, I was kind of disappointed. Because Mittens played knight c2. Rook b1. Knight b4. And I was like, okay, come on. They're going to find a way to keep this game going, right? Hikaru's going to play someone like bishop d2. Sacrifice the exchange. It's probably around equal, but the game continues. But they have too much respect for each other. They just moved back and forth, and after 70 moves, this game ended in a draw, which raises the question, is Hikaru Mittens? Who knows? Anyway, they played again, so let's have a look at that game. Now, in this game, Mittens was white against Hikaru, and Mittens opened the game up with 1d4, and Hikaru responded with the move g6. We know how he lost playing the modern defense, and he did this in this game as well. So c4, bishop g7, knight c3, and here Hikaru goes for one of his favorite sidelines, move c5, and after d5, he gives up the bishop on c3. And this is known as the beef eater variation against uh, in the modern. Now he follows up with the move f5 to stop white from playing e4. And here, I believe the main move is actually e4 anyway. Takes an f3. Or something like h4. To go for a quick attack. If black plays knight f6, I think white plays h5 anyway. And if takes, very often you sack and go for a big attack with e4. But Mittens decides to play knight h3. Now Hikaru goes knight f6, bishop h6, stopping black from castling, knight g4, bishop f4, and Hikaru goes d6, e3, h6, this moves a little bit odd to me, but I guess it wants to stop the knight from jumping in, also taking away this for the bishop, f3, and knight e5, and it felt like Mittens got a great position out of the opening. White has the two bishops, also this king is lacking a safe place, because, I mean, uh, kingside castle is for the moment impossible, but also black is weak in his kingside quite a bit. Knight bd7, short castle, and Hikaru goes king f7. A bit of a bomb cloud, but the king actually sits pretty safe on g7. You can move your other knight to f6. Knight f2, king g7, bishop g3, and knight f6. But here Mittens went very aggressive and played the move e4, trying to blast open a position. Hikaru takes, takes, and he has a decision to make. Does he take an e4? Well, this does open up the FL. White is never really too interested in taking because even though black gets double pawns, you get rid of your own Darshire bishop and black's position becomes pretty solid with the queen coming to d6. 
But Ikora played bishop f5. Now Mittens played another good move. She played knight f2. And rook e8 by Hikora, bringing the rook into the game. But here Mittens decided to take. And go queen e2. And it did not look good for Ikora. Again, these pawns are kind of weak. There's rook a1, maybe g4. So around here, I was kind of worried about Ikora's position. But he just started defending extremely well. He went queen d6, g4, bishop d7. And after bishop d3, the move b5, going for counterplay by messing up white spawn structure on in the center and on the queen side. g5. But Ikara keeps his head cool. He takes and plays knight h7, attacking the queen on g5, queen g3. And now he takes and brings the knight back with knight f6, putting pressure on the spawn. And maybe knight h5 to f4 is also an idea. Rook a1, good move by Mittens, but Ikara just sacks the pawn. He goes bishop f5. Now, if white takes with the rook, black wins after knight h5, hitting the queen and black wins a rook, there's nothing white can do. So Mittens decided to take on e5, but Hikaru, again, he keeps defending so tenaciously. He played the move rook a to b8. And the idea is that he wants to make sure that white never has his move bishop b5. He's also activating his own rook on the b-file. Rook e2, and now he takes a knight d7. Hitting the rook, the knight wants to go to b6, attacking the bishop, putting pressure on this pawn. Again, like during the game, I was really worried. You know, I, but for the record, I'm playing this game on two accounts. Like on my main account, I'm playing Mittens, and I'm checking on my second account how Hikaru would respond to that. And that's how I made them play each other. But I thought Hikaru was just lost here. Like it seems like he's losing another pawn. But actually, it's not that bad. Like rook e8 takes king h6 because he's getting this pawn back on d5, and all of a sudden, black is pretty active. c4, stopping knight d5. Oh, knight takes d5 anyway. Because if you take, well, then the bishop on b5 is hanging. Takes, rook takes b5. And again, black is still down a pawn. But the pawn on d5 is weak. The rooks are pretty active. And it feels like black has pretty reasonable drawing chances here. Knight e4, rook b2, another excellent defensive move by Karu. You cannot take on d5 because this would allow a fork. And this is game over. But rook b2, excellent move. Rook d1, he takes a pawn. And after h4... Now white is preparing with knight g5 or knight f6, closing down the mating that around the king. So Karo accurately decided to trade, even though these two pawns in the center look scary, but he just put his rook behind and starts pushing his own pawn. King of one, rook h2, rook h1 is always an idea, and the c pawn is pushing pretty fast, so they decided to go for a repetition once again. So who's better, Mitten's bot or Hikaru's bot? It remains to be seen, but it does raise the question. If we see two of these pretty quick draws, I mean, this one was 43 moves. The other draw was very quick, was only 70 moves. Is he car mittens bot? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. At any rate, I do hope that all of you guys enjoy the games and that you guys enjoy the video as well. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.